welcome to Keto Homestead with Jess. Today's project, I am going to dry can ground beef and ground deer meat. So follow along with me and I'll show you how. Okay, first I'm just going to go ahead and brown up my deer meat and my ground beef. And then I'll be right back with you once it's mixed up and brown. Okay, my ground beef is now browned. So I'm going to go ahead and strain out all the liquid. I just have a wire mesh strainer with a bowl underneath of it. Now after I strain the ground, beef and ground deer meat. I'm just going to transfer it into this pot and then I'll be back with the next step. All right now we're going to start putting the ground beef in our jars. Push that down. Want one fourth head space. Go a little bit more. All right. Remember to wipe your rims off with some vinegar. Just like that. And put a lid and a ring on. Pop that into a pressure canner. I'll do one more for you. Now remember, we're not adding any liquid because we are dry canning. Not sure how many jars I'll get out of this. I have a small pressure canner, so only probably four or five jars will fit in there at a time. Wipe your rim. I'm doing wide mouth and regular mouth just because that's what I have on hand. It doesn't matter. All right, my pressure canner is full. I've got six pints in there, wide mouth and regular mouth. I'm going to go ahead and put this on medium high and bring it up to 10 pounds pressure and then let it vent for 10 minutes and then I will process this for 75 minutes and then I will be back right, with you. My canner has been steaming for 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it has been steaming for 10 minutes now so I'm going to take my weight and put it on 10 pounds. I'm going to put that on and I'm going to let this cook for 75 minutes and I will be I back. I just wanted to end this video with a little chat. So I had an empty space in the canner, which I don't like to have. I'll either fill that empty space with water 
and can it and sterilize the water or I will do a leftover and since we had taco soup the other night if you followed along with my video I had some extra taco soup leftover so I went ahead and put that in my jars and I'm going to go ahead and can that up with the ground meat However, it is not FDA approved. I am doing this as an experiment for myself. It does have cheese in it and it does have cream cheese in it. So milk products are no, no when it comes to canning. So if you want to do that, be advised. It is not FDA approved and just be warned. And I'll do an update on the taco soup and see how it cans and how long it lasts and everything. We'll just taste it, test it, see what's going on with it, see if that's a future keto canning recipe I can do. Also, I just wanna say that the ground beef that I have was a real blessing to me. A friend, a neighbor of mine butchers two beef cows every year, one in the spring and one in the fall and they were cleaning out their freezer and the beef is perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but she didn't have any more room in her freezer to put another cow. So she gave me a call and asked me if I would like it and of course, yes. So she gave me a bunch of ground beef and that's what I'm doing. I'm clearing out my freezer space so I can get ready for the gardening season and be able to freeze more stuff and put in my freezer. All right, well, Thank you for watching Keto Homestead with Jess. I hope you try my recipes, and if you do, please comment, like, share, and let me know how it went. Alright, you have a good day.